seriously, the one thing that changed in my business that allowed me to make more money is my money mindset. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three ways, three things that I do to keep a positive money mindset. So I wanna welcome you all back to my channel. My name's Crystal. I am a money savings coach and I'm here to help you, yes you, be more intentional with your money so that you can make progress on your big financial goals and live the life that you love. And one thing that has helped me so much in my business is my money mindset. Before I signed up with my coach Sabrina in November 2019, I had no idea that I had such a negative money mindset. I had such blocks around money and that literally the, the things that you think will manifest into your life. So if you're constantly thinking negative, negative things are gonna show up into your life. But it took me years of work, years of work. I've been with her since November 2019. It's 2022 and things are really like clicking for me. I've been doing the mindset work, but like the more you do it, the more it works for you. So what I really wanna say before I jump into these three ways is mindset work, it's not something you do and then it's done. Mindset work is something you continuously work on. So I've been doing all the work and I'm gonna continue to do the work because as you shift to new levels with your money, there's going to be new doubts. There's gonna be new negative tip, negativity. There's gonna be new blocks that come up. So the thing is, once you have a strategy, you can work that strategy at no matter what level you're at. So I wanted to get that out first for you to know that this is gonna be something that you're gonna do all the time. Just like budgeting, how it needs to be done every month, money mindset needs to be done every month. The one physical tool that I suggest everyone have when it comes to building mindset and then specifically money mindset is a journal. I got this journal from Target and I will leave a link in the description box to Target so you can find a pretty journal, spend a few dollars, Spend a few dollars, get you something cute, something that you are going to write in because you are going to need a journal and I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. But you need a place to write down your thoughts. If you're balling on a budget and you don't wanna buy a new journal, go to your bookcase, see what journals you have. Get an old notebook that you spent 10 cents on. I don't care. You need a place to write down your thoughts and you want it to be lined it together, not just loose pieces of paper because you wanna be able to go back to it and you wanna be able to reflect on where you were and how far you've come. So the first thing, that I do when it comes to building a positive money mindset is I write out all my negative thoughts. What are my negative thoughts around money? I'm not going to make enough to pay all my bills. I'm not going to save enough money so that I can build up my emergency fund. Like the more money I have, the greedier I am. Um, whatever your negative thoughts are about money, things that you know are not true. On one side of your paper, I want you to write out all your negative thoughts about money everything brain dump get it all out and then on the other side of your paper i want you to write why it's not true i've been able to pay my bills every single month so why do i think now something's going to change i'm not going to be able to pay my bills it always works out even if that means i have to get a loan it's not ideal but my bills are going to get paid which is my main worry so no matter what my needs are going to be met it doesn't matter right having more money makes me greedy no it doesn't having more money allows me to make more impact Wanting more money allows me to have more impact, all right? If I have more money, my family will run it. Yes, they'll probably want my money, but that's where I have to set up clear boundaries with my family so they can't think that just because I made more money, they are entitled to it, right? So I need you to write down all of your, all of your negative thoughts about money and then I need you to write why they are not true. And if you have to do this every day, every week, every month, so be it. I did this for weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months because I had so many blocks around money from like childhood and I'm still working to break some of those money blocks. Like I said, money mindset and mindset in general is something that we constantly work on. My coach gives us a weekly mindset call because she knows that mindset is that important in life and in business. So the first way that I create a positive money mindset is to list out all the negative things and why they aren't true. Second, you have to reframe all your negatives into a positive. So you have your negatives already. You have why they're not true. Now, any negative thought that I have about money that's written down or in my brain, I instantly reframe it. So I was having a rough week of sales a few months ago and I was like thinking, I'm not gonna sell enough. And instantly my brain was like, nope. My question went from, or my worry went from, I'm not selling enough to, what can I do to make more sales? 
What leads can I reach out to to make more sales, right? What emails can I send? What lives can I do? What DMs can I send to make more sales? I instantly was like, nope, this negative is turning into a positive, right? I'm making too much money this week. I'm going to blow it. Nope. How can I make a plan for this money so that it's very intentional? It's used the way that I want it to be used, right? You have the negative thought of like, I'm never going to be able to make more money. Nope. What can I do to make more money? How can I make more money, right? Money flows easily to me. That is a positive reframe that I take from I'm not making enough money or I'm not getting enough sales. The reframe is money is flowing easily to me. I am open to receiving more money. You've got to reframe all of your negatives into a positive. And if that means you put positive sticky notes all over your computer, all over your wall, all over your bathroom, then so be it. But you've got to reframe all of your negatives into a positive. And the third thing that I do to keep a positive money mindset is I create a plan for my money. I make a budget every month for my personal money. I make a budget every month for my business money. I make a, I make a plan every single month of like, how am I gonna make sales? How many sales do I need to make? How much money do I need to make to survive? I also do a bare minimum budget. So like if it's a slower month and I'm not hitting all of my sales goals for whatever reason or I'm taking it easy, we have a bare minimum budget. And then we have like, we made the most money ever budget, like our big time, like this is everything we want and more budget. We create both. So if the month starts to go slow, we know where we can cut back. But if it's a big baller month, we know what else we can be intentional with our money. So having that money plan helps me to stay positive because I always know what is going on and I'm always able to pivot. If you have a plan, you can always pivot. But if you don't have a plan, you're just throwing spaghetti at a wall. See if it sticks. So just to recap, the three things that I do to create a positive money mindset is first, I'll write down all of my negative thoughts and I will tell myself why they are not true. Second, I reframe all of my negative money thoughts into positive money thoughts. I turn them into sticky notes. I turn them into affirmations. And number three, I create a plan for my money. Money flows where there is purpose. So if you have a plan for your money, it will flow where it needs to be. So I hope this video was super helpful for you all. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. If you need more help with your money, I do have my money making bundle available until March 31st. It includes five of my money making classes. It includes create your side hustle workshop from scratch. It includes side hustle on a budget master class, YouTube channel on a budget master class, how to sell your stockpile, and how to make up to $100 per month from your rebate apps. You can get all five of those live replays for just $99. And if you want to add on a 60-minute strategy session, you can add that on as well. So go ahead, click the link in the description box or click the link in my bio, and you can go ahead and book your strategy session as well as getting your money-making bundle. So I want to thank you all so much for your love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay safe out there as you are shopping, and as always, Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.